Welcome back. It's one. Wednesday. Good How was one. that? That was, was that good. good? That was right. a good one. Oh, we're sending Marcy Jones to different wineries and tasting rooms across the state each week to test them out for us. Today we're finding out about the female future of wine in our state. Marcy, where are you today? Hi, we are at the Saybrook Point Resort and Marina. It is absolutely stunning here. There's pops of bright orange. We've got a fabulous charcuterie board right behind us. Julius Angelini is doing the pouring. We all know him. We all love him. And we've got a new face for our great day at 9A. This is Giovanna Neri. I am so happy to be with you. So for anybody who hasn't tried your delicious Brunello so far, give us kind of the background because blood uh, wine is really in your blood, right? Yes, so uh, I created this farm in uh, my first Brunello was in 2003. Okay. And uh, is uh, a woman farmer. We have uh, one only man and the cook for us. Yes! And I am uh, inorganic. And I should like to produce a kind of wine that is more natural that I can. So, uh, yes. are different. Sorry. I think for anybody who's not really familiar with the wine industry, maybe they would be surprised to know that it is pretty male dominated. So, it's rare to have a female led vineyard, winery, and this is really, you've got the feminine touch to it, which I love so much. Yes, because uh, I think that this kind of a job 20 years ago when I started was for men in Italy, not for women alone right. like me. So sometimes I find some difficulty. So uh, I have uh, to ask the, sometimes the, the money to the bank. I have yep. a little You daughter. had to blaze your own trail, be a pioneer. Yes, and uh, I chose the name, uh, like uh, the name of my daughter, Diletta. I chose mm -hmm. the name of called Dilamo. So I considered my organic little farmer like uh, I love that. another daughter. I another love that. Daughter. Another daughter. Fantastic. All right, so what are we trying, Julius? So, okay, we're going to start with the Rosso di Montalcino. Okay, so perfect. Is, Here, this one's for you. Thank you. Yeah, thank so you. The, uh, the big wine available is Brunello, mm -hmm. so made with Sangiovese grape, the same grape that's made County, but Brunello is a specific area in the town of Montalcino. That's why it's Brunello di Montalcino. Okay. So they have a Rosso, which is uh, uh, their, their baseline wine, then the Brunello, which is aged a couple of years, and then we have a special Brunello Reserva. They only make okay. special years. So okay. This is a 2015. So I feel very special for trying the special wine. Let's is. do a cheers. Yeah. cheers. Okay, and what should I be tasting in this? What kind of notes will I pick up? I, I, I find that the Rosso di Montalcino is a, like a little Brunello. So I produce a few bottles. Oh, it's and, delicious. Uh, yes. Yes, I produce only 6,600 uh, bottles because mm -hmm. I, I put uh, in a, a big barrel that is 5,000 liters. So uh, I find that that is a fruit. Finally, a bottle big enough for me, right? <laughs> yes, 5,000 yes, liters, yeah. that'll do. But it's wonderful because uh, you have in the United States and in my little cellar is a sold out. So yeah. I have to drink now. Because when I come back, I have not. This I is the problem. I love it. That's yes. amazing. This is, this is a sneaky one. I feel like this is going to sneak up on you. It's very sippable. It goes down very easy. Yes. Have to be very easy to drink then uh, Brunello, because uh, for instance in Tuscany we can use the Rosso di Montalcino also for a few hours. We mm -hmm. use it for tradition and convention to drink the wine. Oh, but uh, for instance, Rosso don't need a very important dish or a very important right. can drink a, a glass also for a few hours for light lunch, light dinner. So or it's at like, 9 a.m. like us. I know, right? I know <laughs> Why now not? It's perfect. Now it's perfect. I love that. What else do we have to try, Julius? Well, we're going to do now the Brunello, which is their, the, the big baby, basically. The so big baby. This is, uh, this is, so you get a lot of uh, cherry notes. Brunello Thank is you. Okay, we're going to switch out yours. So this is aged uh, four years in wood. How long is this aged? Okay. Uh, uh, is uh, the baby Brunello stayed uh, two years into the oak. So. You can see the difference in the color as well, too. Yes, because it's very, very important because, uh, uh, for, for instance, uh, 2018 is different from 2017 because uh, 2017 was very hot, so I have the, the grape. The weather really affects the taste so of it. 2018 is colder, so it's more thin and more elegant. 
Instead, the 2017 has more power. Right. More color. Ooh, I love that. Each, each year has a different taste, a different, a different vibe, taste, yes. and it's perfect for a different occasion. Yes. Guys, we have so much more to talk about with Wine Wednesday. We'll be back in just a little bit. All right. Wow. Thanks, Marcy. This Cheers. Is so good. Cheers is right. I wish we had taste a vision. I, me too. Right? Right? Scratch oh. and smell. All right.